doing this alone would be hard. Yeah. Um, so I think having each other through all of this has made uh, has made it possible because yeah, I don't think it would have been without it. Hey, this is Nick Blancinas, and I am a recruiter with Atlas MedStaff. Katie and Cam are awesome. They are two extremely good travelers. They seem like absolutely outstanding nurses. They never miss a beat, always on top of things, and could not ask for two better travelers to work with. My name is Cameron Kowalski. Um, I have been a nurse now for about two and a half years. And my name is Katie Blue. Kowalski. This is our cat, Lulu. <laughs> what a celeb show. Can't she's making you <laughs> um, I have been a nurse for about five and a half years, and we started traveling with Atlas right after we got married in June. We started traveling in August um, after meeting Nick through a phone call. Um, Cold call. Yeah, cold call. And <laughs> it was actually one of the best phone calls I decided to ever answer. We felt so comfortable with Nick because of his experience being a picky nurse. And he traveled with his wife mm -hmm. and he understood why it was so important for us to stay together and be appreciated more as a unit. He just has that, you know, that genuine feeling that he wants to help. Like he wants to share his experience that he had with him and his wife um, with someone who has almost like an identical situation between him and Katie. Um, so we just felt like, like amazingly valued with him. Like he'll check in with us and just like, how are you doing? Like, how was the new place? How was work? Is yeah. there anything I could do for you guys? Like he's, yeah. It feels a lot more like talking to a friend. Yes. Yeah. Totally. And I mean, within this process, we've also gotten to know his wife, Emily, and his son, Connor, who just turned one, and we so love getting videos of him, so and um, he just started walking, so it's been a really fun experience to um, meet a new friend in the process. Within the first month or two of just leaving home, we missed, like, just seeing our friends and family, just, just the normalcies that you have, just being able to, you know, just drive over to their house, just be able to have dinner with our parents, just um, normal stuff that we just, you know, you take for granted when you're at home. And I think one of the biggest pros is also in that same breath, we've been able to experience a whole new city together, whole new foods, um, kind of fend for ourselves and grow individually and as a couple yeah. and as nurses throughout this time. Um, the new city has been difficult to manage for sure because um, that's another difficulty of traveling and this being our first assignment was we didn't know anybody but in, in Baltimore. We had no contacts of resource of being like, hey, um, you know, we reached out to a couple people on Facebook and been like, you know, if you've been to Baltimore, what are some good areas? And also just getting the licenses through <laughs> the government agencies uh, can sometimes be a timely task <laughs> at least that's what we experienced it's a good way to describe um, it. <laughs> but everything that we've gone through to get to this point has definitely been worth it oh yeah absolutely i wouldn't i i, I wouldn't change it for long. yeah I, I didn't want to travel to begin with because i was still a new nurse i was like let me get two years and then we'll talk about it and then this opportunity came up we're just like okay let's let's, let's do it let's dive in let's do it just be open to the experience like it's going to be hard it's going to be change in every aspect but the growth from it is it's totally worth it like i would have definitely kicked myself if i would have never taken this this opportunity for this experience because mm -hmm. it's been really good another i guess big thing of piece of advice which fell into our lap and we're blessed and thankful for it was take the time to find a recruiter that cares about you mm -hmm. they talk to them ask questions pick their brains because like, i feel like we literally like nick we did we were i feel like calling nick every other day yeah there are going to be hiccups along the way so you want someone who's in your corner yeah, that will actually totally. advocate for you and help you through this process that's one thing and it's like if we've talked to people from different um travel companies and They've talked about like, you know, if they're looking for like um, changes to their contract or rate increases and stuff like, man, I had to fight for that. Like I had to be on my recruiter. She didn't get back to me for a week. We haven't We've had to do any of that with Nick. Nick just comes to us and been like, hey, I negotiated this. It's for the, it's in your best interest. Take a look at it. Let me know. It's like, it's yeah. like, take the time to find a recruiter that cares about you.
it just feels like a very we just feel value so atlas is i mean that's not even touching on all of the like the fun amenities that they offered uh like they sent us like two yeti coffee mugs and a north face jacket <laughs> And the Atlas, All of which we had no idea where coming. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they got us a Yeti a dog bowl, um, mm -hmm. and then the Atlas Adventure. That's a cool thing too. Um, we didn't even really, I kind of forgot <laughs> that we had that. But uh, you could use that money for anything, and we used it to go home um, to see our family. So it was great. Atlas has been wonderful to us, but I think in the long run, it's your recruiter. And that's what makes and that's what drives people to a company is the quality of the people that you're working with and that's what was probably one of the biggest things for us was he's he's top of the line quality and he cares and that makes us feel good about working with alice and i mean one of the biggest reasons why we're even nurses in the first place is to form connections with people and we have definitely found that with atlas mm -hmm. and with nick so we talked about it and our only major requirement for where we go next is knowing one person. <laughs> it's knowing someone who lives there. Who can help navigate the city. Yeah. yeah. Her best friend's in Texas. Um, so we just applied for our Texas license. Actually, that's what I did my fingerprinting for today. Um, so that may be next on the list um, in places we will go. Um, I think she has aspirations for California. Um, I would do Colorado. My sister lives out there. So again, um, I think it's not even so much location for us. It, it is and it isn't, but it's more of like location plus you know, having our individual that we know for a resource. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, honestly, that's half the fun is we really don't know what's next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.